Hello and welcome to The Good, The Bad, and The Tarot. This is a general mid-October forecast for the sign of Leo. Um, I just have one announcement. That is, if you would like to book a private reading with me, please email uh, the good, the bad, and the tarot at gmail.com. That's my email address. Um, that's where you can uh, schedule and confirm appointments with me for a private reading. My readings are 30 minutes and my rate is $50. Uh, PayPal to the good, the bad, and the tarot at gmail.com. What else? Uh, I offer two formats, live over Skype readings and a private YouTube reading that only you can see. So you have the choice. It's up to you which one you want to pick. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is I am doing the same format for my uh, the mid-October readings as I have done in the past. The only difference is that um, when I normally read tarot cards um, in this format, um, you'll notice that... Um, I'm going to be doing them the way that I normally do them for my personal readings. So um, I'll point that out as I'm doing it. It's really not that different. It's just um, a technique that I use um, that helps me focus on core cards better to see what people are doing um, more specifically. So I'll kind of walk you through that as I'm doing it. But as I was pre-shuffling the cards, um, the Two of Wands fell out. So the Two of Wands talks about um, making, having to make a decision. It is a minor arcana card, so it can just talk about deciding about two different people. Um, the man is standing at a precipice with the world in his hands. It can also talk about internet research or investigating options. Um, he's solemnly focusing on this ball in his hands, this globe. And he's fairly well dressed, so he does have um, the ability and the free will to choose between these two options. He's also looking at the in the distance, so he could he's possibly waiting for his ships to come in. And ships can also represent messengers, messages, love letters. Um, it's a card about waiting, but also about deciding about two things or two people so just something to keep in mind all right spirit please show me the messages for leo for their mid-october general reading okay also the eight of swords reverse just popped out so this can talk about releasing yourself from some negative thoughts not feeling like you're putting yourself in a position anymore where you feel trapped. You are releasing yourself from some situation that was restrictive. And that can just be psychologically, like the way you think about things has changed. Okay. Spirit, please show me the messages for Leo for the month of October. This is the general forecast a general reading for all my Leos this is for Leo suns Leo moons and Leo risings spirit please show me the messages for Leo for their mid-october reading what are the messages spirit what do they need to know what do my Leos need to know okay I'm being asked or guided to shuffle a few more times on camera here. Once again, Spirit, please show me the messages for Leo for the month of October for their general forecast for a general reading. What are the messages, Spirit? Guys, this is also kind of like a bi-weekly reading. So I'm starting early because it takes me forever to get through all of the signs. So we're going to do the same spread that we did before um, for the mid-September readings. Here we have the Three of Wands. The King of Pentacles. Now here's the technique that I'm talking about. I put down this card at an angle on the court card because it lets me know what this person is doing. 
I do have the Ten of Wands. I have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. I do have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. The Eight of Swords. The Two of Cups reversed. And the World reversed. The Six of Cups reversed. The Two of Pentacles reversed. I'm sure you guys can see this. The Queen of Cups reversed. The Three of with the Three of Swords, and then the Page of Cups reversed, with the Empress reversed. Okay. So this card, oh, I'm sorry, this row will represent the recent past. This row will represent the present or the middle of the month that we're going into. And then this row will represent the foreseeable future or the last um, weeks of October. So this is like the middle of the month and this is like the beginning of the month here. And then, you know, this is the weeks after the middle of the month, if that makes any sense. Again, the reason why I put the cards, the extra cards down here is because this is a technique I use in my personal readings and I don't know. I just feel like incorporating it because it, it helps me, it helps me clarify what the core cards are doing. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below, okay? I have the Three of Wands in your past position. So this does tell me that, Leo, you were thinking long term. You were setting your sights on some, either seeing something through like a long term relationship or you were building towards the future. This talks about making plans and having the long view of them. So um, this can also talk about planning a future with someone. If you're committed, then that makes a lot of sense to me because it does talk about building on the foundations, building on the foundations of what you already have. Um, now, I do have an interesting figure here. This is the King of Pentacles. He is going to be a Earth sign or have Earth sign in his chart. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And he will be a wealthy person, manager, um, very grounded, stable, um, self-sufficient individual in your life. This is someone significant to you, Leo. And what they're doing is they have a ton of cups reversed. So this talks to me, this says to me that this person is very unhappy about something. All of their cups are upside down. So for some reason, they're very unhappy, Leo. And I don't know why, but something has greatly disappointed them. And um, as you can see, with a couple upside down, the protection and security of all of these cups is no longer present. So this does speak to someone in your life, an earth sign who is currently very unhappy. Next to this card, I have the Ten of Wands. So I do see you or this person potentially moving forward with a heavy burden. This can talk about carrying a great burden on this person's moving through the night. It can also talk about moving, moving away. Um, it also does talk about with two tens, the end of something. So something has reached a conclusion, Leo, possibly with this person because we are at the end of a cycle. So um, I am seeing movement away and um, carrying a great burden, heavy burden. Um, I also have a 10 of Pentacles reversed. So we have three tens in a row. Something is definitely ended here. There is a loss of security and happiness with 
someone in your life. The happiness and love and the security. Okay. But someone is continuing to move forward despite this. All right, so we have two tens reverse and one ten upright. So I am getting the end of something with the exception of this one card, the ten of wands being upright. Um, that still remains sort of a positive card because it means that you are someone is still carrying this burden. Um, so but watch out because that's we're at the edge. We're at the very end here. So it's pretty much over whatever it is. Going into the present, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. This talks about either not committing yourself to something or not working or being out of work. Um, this can just mean not putting any effort or um, really not paying attention to the details of a project. Next to another Eight of Swords, so we have two Eights here. I do see someone is very trapped by negative thinking Contrary to the card that I pulled in the pre-shuffling, um, while I was shuffling the cards, I actually see that um, by not working on this relationship or by not working on this long-term vision, um, you are feeling trapped by thoughts. And the thoughts aren't necessarily real. They, they might not actually even be real. But they might just be things you think. So remember, you don't have to believe everything that you think. So, but anyway, this person is feeling trapped and she is blindfolded and her hands are bound. So all she has to do is release herself from that, from this situation, take the blindfold off and see that these are just, um, literally she can escape from the situation if she if she wants to. Now, um, I do have a two of cups reverse. So in a specific relationship, she may feel trapped and that they are not seeing eye to eye. Sometimes I get this card when someone is going through a divorce or when they're just really not getting along with their partner. There can be disagreements or there can be inequality in a relationship where um, the chemistry can be is basically gone. So not a good situation. In addition to that, I have the world reversed. So this does talk about something is not over yet. Something is feels like it's unfinished. The cycle, it's almost over, but it's there's still business that's left undone. There's a feeling of being weighted down buy some unfinished business that still weighs on you, Leo. There's something that's still weighing on you. I have a feeling it has to do with this King of Pentacles who's very unhappy right now. Okay, because security has been lost and there's a lot, there's a great burden. Someone is carrying a great burden upon their shoulders. But the work isn't being put into it and there's still negative thoughts. Okay, so going into the future, I have the Six of Cups reversed. So this does talk about someone coming back from the past. It can also talk about being stuck in the past. So it's hard for me to see right now, but I am getting this feeling like someone is like really stuck in this position unable to move on past a particular person in their past life. Um, particular, well, I'm, I'm thinking it's an ex, someone that they are very fond of. And um, of course, in the future, the Six of Cups reversed can talk about someone from the past coming back. If that is not the case, then it does talk about being stuck in the past with the Two of Pentacles reversed we're not getting anywhere here. This is just someone turning the wheels of their bicycle and they are not, they're pedaling, but they're not getting anywhere. And it be, can because there's too many distractions, you know, too many distractions going on. Um, now be careful because I do have the Queen of Cups reversed. This is going to be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And 
with the Queen of Cups reverse, someone is taking on someone else's pain. Too much. Too much suffering, too much pain. Um, this person can be very emotional, and I see that they're very heartbroken. Okay. And um, because I, the reason I say that is because they do have the Three of Swords that I pulled next to this card, overlaying this card. So there is a woman in your life, Leo, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, who is heartbroken. And I do see that is because of the Page of Cups reversed. So the Page of Cups can talk about not getting a message or not receiving a message. And uh, not getting some message because, um, or a miss, they can talk about being, there being a missed message. The Page of Cups can also represent another water sign, a younger one. Um, it can talk about immaturity, and especially with the Empress Reverse, we're talking about blocked uh, creativity, blocked love, blocked um, nurturing, blocked caring. There's something that's preventing this Empress from fully coming into uh, her full to ex her full expression. So I am seeing like um, the ability to send messages, loving messages, is definitely causing heartbreak to this woman. And or there's a message received that it talk that is talking about some form of love message that is not coming through, or some message is not coming through. So very interesting, Leo. Oh. Let's pull your oracle card. Hopefully shed some light on the situation. Spirit, please show me the love message or the general message, general spiritual message. We're not doing love readings anymore. This is a general forecast for Leo. So please show me the overall spiritual message for Leo for the month of October. Yeah, I'm really getting this sense of someone is really unhappy. There is, um, Someone feels trapped and possibly in a relationship that is not working anymore. But there's still some unfinished business from the past that is yet to resolve itself. But I'm just seeing heartbreak in the future. I don't like that. Coral's Wisdom. Colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. Okay, this is your oracle card from the Oracle of the Mermaids deck. Leo, it did come up upright, number 31. So let me read you the meaning of this card. Okay, this is a long message here. Coral as a magical talisman to enhance beauty and to ensure protection has long been used. Tune into the coral and see which color comes to you to know what messages these precious tiny creatures are communicating to you. Each coral family has particular qualities and each region has an energetic signature that is unique. To tune into your coral, read the, the list below and then simply hold your coral in your receiving hand. Okay, and it lists a bunch of different types of coral and um, what each coral will do. We have red coral, blue coral, golden coral, black coral, angel skin coral, and white coral. Um, but before getting into that, I'm going to read some more messages from here. 
Oh, how we love these tiny beings who gather and create Poseidon's castles and caves of wisdom. Their intricate and underwater towers of red, gold, and softest pinks have taken over thousands of your human years to create, and yet you destroy them. And yet they offer you so much. Their healing powers are so strong, and they can help all of us, including we mermaids of the present time, connect back, back to Atlantis, back to Lemuria. They are an ancient living storehouse of memories and wisdoms and collective consciousness of life itself on this planet. Why else would Buddha make coral one of the seven sacred treasures? For he found it restored his tranquility and serenity, even under the most challenging of circumstances. Why else would Poseidon request the coral to create castles for the mare folk to dwell within and learn from? A living building, a wisdom temple that was truly alive. In your Greek mythology, it is said that the coral was formed from the blood falling from Medusa's severed head, and this is reflected in the Greek name for red coral, Gorgia, Georgia. So it holds her blood, the energy of the most ancient ones, even after they have seemed to pass. <clears throat> your sailors learned from us that preserving the coral could ease the stormy seas. And then we shared that the coral's protective powers could help safeguard the children and create a fertile world. But you misunderstood and you took the coral. They gift to you so often as they wash up on the shore. But you began to take it. And then you polluted the waters and now her life is threatened. Please, although you hunger for her beauty, do not purchase harvested coral. The ocean needs her libraries, her temples. Her castles of wisdom, please do not please do know where your coral is coming from. The very best piece of all is a small washed up on the shore for you. It will carry such strong energy and is even more precious because the sea offered her to you. So um it goes on and on and on and on here. The reverse meaning is talking about some more psychological, like some more stuff that is more, uh, I think, related to this reading. Um, unwilling to take responsibility for the impact your choices make to the wider world. It is time to make some adjustments now for the highest good of all. Look into purchasing ethical goods, fair trade, eco-consciousness. <clears throat> There may be a reluctance to do so, a feeling that if something has already been destroyed, then what difference can your choices and actions make? But make your choice, but, but your every choice makes an enormous difference. The reverse card could also mean that you are living very quickly and expecting things to move at a pace which is not natural. You are living and contemplating the short term. The quarrel urges you to slow down and wonder at the impact of your choices for the next thousand years, collectively as humans, individually as a legacy for your future ancestors. Okay. Well, I don't know about this card. I don't feel that it particularly resonates for me, but um, I would say that the rest of the reading is very accurate in terms of where things are going this month for some of you. So that being said, um, I want to thank you for joining me for this uh, mid-October forecast, general reading for October. And um, I wish all of you love and light and thank you all for your likes and subscribes. Um, feel free to leave me comments below. Take care. Bye-bye.